I think a lot of the uh, people who have been interviewed for the series have talked about heroes and have mentioned their, their family members, especially their mothers or fathers. Um, I would also hold up my mother as terribly important um, as a hero, certainly on a personal level, but I want to talk about someone who really has profoundly affected all of us, and that is Martin Luther King. He really is my hero more than that because I think that he addressed, he addressed an illness, the illness of racism in this country. And he was at the same time um, a prophet. And if you want to know what I mean by that, let's remember that Martin Luther King was killed April 4th, 1968. He made a speech at Riverside Church April 3rd, 1967, where he addressed not just racism, but some of the other ills that affect our country. And when we think about how long ago that was, and I think about how long ago that was, I, I reflect on how, how the word is prescient, which means being able to anticipate long before anyone else the things that we can't help but see now. And that's what he was. He saw that these problems that we had would really begin to be devilous, to trouble us, to cause great, great difficulty, and they do. Uh, and so uh, I would refer you to that speech. So uh, that's really why I see him as a hero, because his effect, I. I did not always agree with him. I was a student, I was a college student actually when he was killed. But the more and more I contemplate and read about his life and affairs and the affairs of today, I begin to realize how right he was about, uh, about these issues. And so that's why I think of him as not just my hero, but I think an American hero of the 20th century.